Welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor, your source for practical solutions to your problems with AutoCAD and Autodesk Inventor. Today we're going to be looking at project files in Autodesk Inventor, what they are, what they're used for, and how you can use them. If you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe, that way you'll be notified anytime we publish new information. A project is a system for organizing and accessing all files that are associated with a particular design job. You can have any number of projects to manage your work, but you can only have one project active at a time. Design data in a project typically includes parts, assemblies, standard components that are unique to your company, and libraries of off-the-shelf components such as fasteners, fittings, and electrical components. When you install Autodesk Inventor, it installs a default project. If you do not create a project or specify a different project when you start working in Inventor, the default project is automatically active. The default project does not define an editable location. However, you can use it to create designs immediately and save files without regard to projects or file management. But I don't recommend it. I always recommend that you create a new project file every time you start a new project. It's just a great way to make sure that everything is going to be maintained in the right place. Project files have an extension of IPJ. The IPJ file is a text file in XML format. The project wizard creates it automatically when you create your project. Let me show you how easy it is to create a project. Looking at our Inventor interface here, you'll see that the project that is active right now is, in, in my case, is Inventor Electrical Project. If I drop this down, you'll see the recent projects that I've been working on. One called Assemblies, the one called Default, which will always be there. Of course, this one that's bold is the Active Project, and then another one here called Seat Post Clamp. If I wanted to make the seat post clamp project active, I could simply click it here and it will typically show <clears throat> a thumbnail or a list of the recent files that I've been working with in this project. You can see that this project is actually fairly simple. It has a couple of part files, an assembly file, a presentation file, and a drawing file. To create a new project, the first thing you have to make sure is that you do not have any open part files, assembly files, or anything else. If you try to create a new project while you've got any files open, it'll give you an error message and tell you that you have to close all of those projects. So you can see that I don't have anything open at this time. To create a new project, you simply go to the three dots right next to the active project and click, and then click Settings. It brings up this dialog box. <clears throat> has again the list of the projects that you've been working on lately and down here in the bottom it gives you some more information about those projects that we'll be looking at. But if I want to create a new one you simply click on the new button down here at the bottom. There are two types of projects available in Autodesk Inventor. One is a new single user project where it's designed for one person to be working on a project at a time. It doesn't always have to be the same person but it does not have a data management server that allows different people to check drawings in and out. If you have more than one person working on a project at a time, it's best to use a Vault project because Vault comes with a, is basically a data management server that allows users to check out and check in drawings, parts, files, those types of things, and it maintains the integrity of those throughout the process. For the purposes of this video, I'm simply going to proceed with a new single user project and choose next. At this point, I can give it a project name such as sample project. And I can also specify a location. Before I got started, I actually created a folder on my desktop to put this in. I'll click on the ellipsis button here, go to my desktop, and you'll see that I have this folder here called Sample Inventor Project. It's always a good idea to have a folder to put all of your files in. That way they don't just get spread out all over the place. 
If you need to, you can click on this button right here to create a new folder. At this point, I'll choose OK. You'll see that it has, again, the name of the project here. The next line shows the address of the project, okay, where it's going to be. And then the last line down here at the bottom actually gives you the project file. So on my desktop, in this folder, it's creating this project file with that IPJ extension. If I choose next, it will have a list of libraries that I can use. Okay, and this is going to be, this, this is in all of the projects. This one's only in this one, but since this electrical, auto inventor electrical library is in all projects, it'll be included in this one. I can just click finish. Once I click finish, you'll see that my sample project is now the active project. It even states it over here on the left. And then it has information down here in the bottom about this project. It's a single user project. This is where it's located. It does not have any included files. An included file gives me the option of using another project, <clears throat> uh, maybe such as my seat coat post clamp project, that I could share information with. That way, if I've got some designs or some libraries in that other project that I want to use in this one also, I can include it there. Appearance libraries, you know, those could be finishes or material type or uh, material finishes, materials libraries, um, a workspace, and so on. We don't need to look at these right now for what we're doing. So I'll just choose done. At this point now, I've created my first project and I'm ready to go down here to new and create any of my parts, assemblies, or drawings.